importance of oil, the petroleum oil or gasoline in our lives. We couldn't drive most of the vehicles unless they are filled with gasoline. The school bus couldn't make to school without gasoline. In fact, whole world would almost halt. Industries would stop running, and airplanes would be grounded without gasoline. Gasoline or petrol is such an important com important commodity. It affects entire worlds by what happens to this vital fuel. Today, I'm going to talk about seven facts about oil, origin of oil, oil nations, oil prices, fluctuations, and how the game of oil is played in today's world. The basic question is, how oil was initially made? The answer is, no one exactly knows how oil was made. However, there, there are two theories that explain how the substance may have originated initially. Theory one suggests that oil is a fossil fuel, meaning it is composed of dead animals and plants. In second theory, some scientists believe that oil comes from the core of the earth center. Irrespective of the origin, people are more interested in using of oil. Where oil is found? The answer is it is found everywhere, in a less or more quantity. Middle East is the center of world's oil supply. This region owns around 56% of the worldwide oil resources. Saudi, Saudi Arabia is the nation who produces most of the oil. Other big nations in the Middle Eastern with the sizable quantities are Iran, Iraq, <coughs> Kuwait, and UAE. You will be shocked to hear Canada has the second largest oil reserves in the world. However, these reserves are located in a sand pit where it is very hard to extract oil compared to other nations in the Middle East. So who uses the oil? We all use the oil. Every country uses oil. America, biggest economy in the world, uses more oil than any other nation. US gets 25% of the oil produced every day from the world. Canada is the biggest oil importer to the US, with Saudi Arabia ranked second. European Union is the second largest oil consuming group, with China ranked at level three. Whenever we talk about oil or we hear oil news, we hear the term OPEC. OPEC is the organization of petroleum export countries. It's a cartel of 12, biggest, 12 of the biggest oil producing nations in the world, all major from Middle East. <coughs> this organization says that they control around 70% of the worldwide oil resources, and they have big influence on the oil market and the prices worldwide. The big oil producers, which are not part of the OPEC, are Canada, Russia, and United Nations. Now, if you look from the high level, the whole world economy is directly or indirectly related to the prices of oil. OPEC nations and the other big oil exporting countries like Russia, their economy is very heavily dependent on the oil business. If prices go up, their economy gets stronger. If prices go down, their economy gets weaker. These nations, OPEC especially <coughs> OPEC nations, produce so much of oil they can easily manipulate the price of oil by manipulating the supply based on the demand. If they want to make more money, they cut the supply. If they want to reduce the oil prices to have a good competition with US and Canada or Russia, they release more oil in the market. While Canada, Russia, and US can also release more oil in the market, but they cannot affect the worldwide prices as much as OPEC can and does. June last year, oil prices were around $150 per barrel. Barrel is, is a measurement of oil. One barrel is 42 gallons of oil. January this year, the cost has fallen to $49 per barrel. This month, the price ranges between $56 and 
create order. But why the prices have fallen so much and why there's too much fluctuation? Experts say that over the last one decade, high fuel prices and political conflicts in a key region like Iraq had prompted companies in mm -hmm. US and Canada to extract more oil from hard to extract regions. Today, US is the biggest oil producer country. Unfortunately, US doesn't export it, it's only for the intermediate. So what's gonna happen in the oil industry? Where prices are gonna end up? Well, it's hard to predict. It's a multi-dimensional complex game. There's a political conflict flaring up in a key region. Russia is facing economic meltdown. Iraq is having threats from ISIS. Nigeria is having war with Boko Haram. And OPEC is a new war in a price war with US and Canada. OPEC nations are meeting June this year to make a big decision on oil prices. They might cut the supply to increase the cost. There's too many complex factors. It's hard to predict where the oil industry will end up going. The good news is 